Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to set up the PCR action. As in previous videos, I have uh, introduced uh, introduced you to the thermal like cycler. A thermal cycler is a machine or device, or we can say PCR machine, in which the PCR is being carried out. So, in previous video, I have uh, I have mentioned about the thermal cycler or PCR machine. But in today's video, I will be discussing about or we will set up one PCR reaction. Before actually starting to the reactions, we, we should have something in our hand to start with the PCR reaction. So first we will need this milky water or sterile nucleus free water or sterile milky water we need. Then we will need the DNTPs. DNTPs are essential because the DNA polymer is at DNTPs and this is how uh, the amplification will take place as this is the basics in molecular biology. Then we need the forward primer to amplify our gene of interest as well as so we need the forward and reverse primer. So here we have both forward and reverse primer. Then need we we will need the buffer in we, uh, buffer. The buffer we have is actually Q5 DNA polymer it's buffer. So this buffer will vary according to which polymer is you are going to use in your reaction. So I have the Q5 DNA polymerase that's why I'm using this Q5 DNA polymerase buffer. So this is not a main vial I have allocated to avoid the contamination to the uh, main vial. And of course you need the TAC polymerase or any thermo thermostable DNA polymerase. Here in this case we are using the Q5 DNA polymerase. I will show you while adding the into the reaction. And last component is the template DNA or we can say the template. So the template here we can use any DNA as a template. So uh, we can use the C DNA uh, which is synthesized from the RNA by using reverse transcriptase as well as we can use the genomic DNA of plant animal or it is depend on which DNA from which DNA we have to amplify a particular gene that can be referred as a template. So in this case I am using cDNA as a template and all the components should be thawed on the ice except the DNA polymerase we have it in the minus 20 in the chiller. So um, uh, one thing I just want to mention about uh, the buffer is that it after thawing the buffer every time you have to vertex the buffer because there may be chances that the salts uh, that are being used in this buffer can be precipitated. So we have to uh, vertex it to mix it mix the buffer properly. Today we are going to prepare five reactions including one negative control reaction and each reaction is of 10 microliter that will give us a total volume of 50 So micro. this 50 microliter reaction can be called as the master PCR master mix since we are using only one specific forward and reverse primer. So in this case we want to amplify only one gene but that gene we want to amplify but from the different cDNAs right. So here what we will do we will prepare 50 microliter of master mix. Uh, technically it will be 47.5 microliter since we are adding template DNA as a concentration of 0.5 microliter so that that we are not counting here so total volume will be uh, 47.5 uh, microliter and then we will distribute this 47.5 microliter into five different tubes like say 9.5 microliter in each tube so now we have will have five five tubes with a 9.5 microliter in one one tube we will kept as a water control or negative control to know whether our uh, the any component has been uh, contaminated with any uh, other dna molecule that gives non specific amplification that we don't want right so we are here uh, we are keeping the negative control or water control in which won't be adding any kind of template instead we will add our nucleus free water or sterile milky water so that will be our uh, water control uh, water control keeping water control is very important because we do not know whether it is really amplifying from our cdna or it is really uh, amplifying from our nucleus free water or any component that is uh, that is contaminated so right so in this case we have five reactions i am repeating again sorry we have to prepare five reactions we will prepare 
uh, master mix for 5 reactions that will be around 47.5 microliter. Then we will distribute this 47.5 microliter into each tube that will be around 9.5 microliter in each tube. Then one tube we will add 0.5 microliter of nucleus free water and we will keep it as a water control or negative control. We would not be adding any cDNA into that. Okay. Then rest of the 4 tubes we can add different types of cDNA into those 4 tubes. So, that will be uh, that will be 4 different reactions from the 4 different cDNAs. So, we are since we are amplifying only one gene from the different cDNAs. So, why we are doing it because this cDNA might be from the different uh, uh, prepared from the different tissues for let us say uh, I have cDNA number 1 which is prepared uh, from the root tissue, uh, another cDNA I have prepared from the shoot tissue and another from the leaf like that. So, I have 4 different uh, templates that from the, those template I just want to amplify only a gene of our interest with the forward and reverse primer. In this case we are not changing the primer, we are preparing 50 microliter of master mix and we are distributing into the each tube. So, the total volume of the reaction will be 10 microliter. I hope this is visible. So, uh, in one one tube only I am going to prepare master mix. So, uh, I will show the calculations on the screen later, uh, you can see it. So, first I will add is the nucleus free water, uh, make sure you have the tips and tubes which are sterile. and always set up the PCR reaction on the ice. Uh, our nucleus free water I have added, then we will add the buffer. You can tap it, uh, I have a vertex it already. Then we will add the NTPs. One thing about uh, preparing master mix is that like when you are uh, suppose preparing smaller reactions of 10 microliter. So, when you are doing individual reaction it is difficult to measure in the micro pipette. you do not know whether it is really coming or not. So, that is the advantage of the uh, PCR master mix that you do not have to play it again and again, you can prepare one reaction and you can then distribute. In case uh, you want to prepare separate reaction, it will be heptic task and you do not know uh, since we have to add the components in very minute quantity, so it will be the problem. DNTP has been added, then we will add the forward primers. Uh, make sure uh, you are adding the forward primer first, it is not the means uh, it is not uh, you can add reverse primer that is not an issue, but uh, why I am recommending is that once like sometimes you get disturbed while preparing the reaction suppose you have added the first reverse primer and now you are confused which primer do you have added first. So, I will recommend uh, make that habit that uh, make a habit like pre always add forward primer first in the reaction. So, if anyhow you forgot uh, you have added forward or reverse primer. In that case, you know that you are adding forward primer first. So, this time also you have added forward primer first. So, I will add forward primer.
uh, the final uh, the the stock of this the working stock of this primer is 10 micromolar and it's depending on you how much you want to add into the reaction i am going to the manufacturer's instructions uh, from where we have using this q5 dna polymerase power primer is added now i will add reverse primer reverse primer has been added now uh, everything has been added expect except a uh, template and uh, dna polymerase so we will add the dna polymerase now So as I have mentioned we are using Q5 DNA polymerase this how this file looks like. Again the quantity of DNA polymerase will vary according to which polymerase you are going to use. So I am using Q5 and by following their uh, manufacturers instructions. But you can also uh, standardize your own reaction by reducing the polymerase no issue. And while adding the piece, uh, the polymerase, you will see see the glycerol is going down. That means you have added the, the polymerase. Now keep the reaction on ice. Now everything has been added uh, except uh, the template. So what I will do, I have added everything so I will mix it by the pipetting. As well as I will give one short spin to it. So everything will come down. Everything has been added. Now I am going to label the my tubes. You can label it early, uh, no issue. I will add. And uh, the first tube will be negative control. So I will have here five tubes. One, two, three, four, five. Right. I will take out this tube to avoid. Now we want to distribute this PCR master mix into the five, four, five, five different tubes. Now the, the PCR reaction has been distributed. Now we have five different tubes. One, then is, this is two, three, four, and five. So the first tube we will keep it as a negative control. So I will add immediately a 0.5 nucleoid of nucleus per water. Now in, in 
in rest of four tubes I will add my cDNA so you should label the tubes in a such a way that you should remember in which tube what uh, template you have added I will add at the side of the tubes So this uh, adding the template it is not depend on the microliter actually it is depend on the concentration of your template so uh, let's say for example you are using the cDNA you can add the diluted uh, diluted cDNA after adding template we are giving short spin to mix the components and collect all the components at the bottom of the tube and we are making uh, sure that there is no bubble uh, inside the tube i have introduced to the thermocycler or pcr machine in my previous video if you haven't watched our lady please uh, do watch it uh, so here what we are doing we are setting up this reaction at annealing of 67 degrees celsius and then uh, we are keeping extension at 72 degrees celsius for 5 seconds since uh, the processivity of the q5 polymerase is very high and <clears throat> and uh, the size of my gene is very small that is around 200 base pair that's why i have kept this extension time at uh, 0.5 uh, sorry 0.5 seconds let me know in the comments why we have used the uh, denaturation at 98 degrees celsius if you like this video please like share subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are doing to set up the pcr reaction